guys, welcome back to ABC Studio, and you are here with Natalie. Today, we're gonna crochet one of my favorite casual bags. It's so cute and convenient that I can carry it almost every day. This project is 100% beginners friendly, and again, it's an in depth tutorial, so even if you've never crocheted before, the process is still gonna be enjoyable. You can make the strap long for a crossbody bag or make it short for a shoulder bag. On top of that, we're gonna work with thick yarn and a big hook so the bag would work up quickly, which is pretty satisfying. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can tag me on Instagram with picture of the bag you've made. I would love to see them. Now, let's talk about tools and materials. So for this project, we're going to use 5.5mm crochet hook, yarn needle for stitch marker or bobby pins, and scissors. And we're going to use double-stranded DK yarn, and that basically DK yarn, but we're going to put two strands of DK yarn together to work as one. The total amount of yarn you will need for one bag, it's about 230 to 260 grams of yarn depends on how long you want your straps to be but let's say that we're gonna need 260 grams of yarn because a little extra yarn it's better than not having enough okay to calculate the amount of yarn you need to buy for each color depends on how you plan the color here this lower part and this part take the equal amount of yarn so half of 260 is uh, 130 grams of yarn for each of this part okay and then if you plan to uh, put two different colors of yarn together like what I did here you will have to divide this part of yarn into again two equal amount of yarn which is half of 130 is 65 grams of yarn okay and same to this part so here I plan the color a little bit different. I use mostly this vanilla cream color and then just one part of pink. And that is how you plan your color and um, calculate the amount of yarn to buy on each color. Okay, so here to work with double-stranded yarn, we're gonna put two balls of yarn next to each other like this. And then we're gonna put the strands together and just pull them and work as if they are one and of course the color is your choice you can put two different colors together like what I'm doing here or you can always put the same color together like this if you want a plain one color back okay now put them together and work as they are one so first we're gonna start with 65 chains and to make chains we need a slip knot to make a slip knot you're gonna hold your yarn like this this is the tail of your yarn and this is your working yarn you're gonna make a loop with two of your finger like this and then you're gonna pull the working yarn through that loop and then tie this loop up that is your slip knot. Now you're gonna put this slip knot onto your hook and close it. Okay, so to make chain, we simply yarn over and pull through. Every time you yarn over and pull through, you make a chain. And so here you can see that we made two chain, right? Okay, now for this pattern, we don't want our chain to be too tight. So you might want to loosen up your tension a little bit here, okay? Now, we're just gonna keep yarn over and pull through until we have 65 of this chain, okay? Now that we have 65 chain, we're gonna join this chain into the round. And to demonstrate this, I'm gonna use this little paper so that it's easier to imagine, okay? You see your chain has two sizes, the front of the chain with each chain shaped like little V's and the back of the chain has little bumps on each chain. Now, 
let's say that on this paper, this blue side is the back of the chain and this white side is the front of the chain, okay? We're gonna hold on to this end and find the back of the chain all face up like this and when we get to this end, we're gonna bring this ends together like this and join them right here into the perfect round. Now you don't want to randomly join your chain because there's a high chance that your chain will be twisted like this and there's no good working in a twisted round, okay? Okay, now on our real chain, you first gonna put this working yarn away and above like that and then you're gonna find the back of the chain like this, so this is the front and this is the back, okay? The back with little bumps on each chain. And we're gonna hold on to this end. Okay, and find the back all face up. Like that. When you get to this end, we're gonna bring this together like this. And here, you can see this first chain, the first V, this is the top loop and this is the back loop. So, you're gonna insert your hook under this top loop of the V, insert your hook right there, like that, okay? You can see that now you have two loops on your hook, okay? Here, two loops on your hook, okay? And, and then... With this working yarn, you're gonna yarn over and pull this through both of these loops, like this. To be back with one loop, okay? And that is how you join the chain into the round with a slip stitch. Now moving on to our first round, we're gonna work half double crochet into each of this chain until the end of the round. So first, we're gonna chain one. Like that and again you don't want your chain to be too tight so just lo loosen your tension when you work a chain okay okay now our first half double crochet we're gonna place right into this next chain so the first chain we join the round with a slip stitch and then chain one and this is the second chain we're gonna work the first half double crochet in there so to half double crochet you're gonna yarn over you can see now you have kind of like two loops on your hook okay and you're gonna insert your hook right under this top loop of the V. Like that. And then with the working yarn, you're gonna bring our loop to have three loops on your hook like this. Now we're gonna finish this half double crochet by yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. All three loops, okay? You can see that it's your first half double crochet. Now again, yarn over, insert your hook into this next chain, bring our loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all the loops on your hook. And that's our second half double crochet. Okay, again, yarn over, insert your hook, draw our loop, yarn over, and pull through. Okay, and we're just gonna keep repeating this process. Work half double crochet into each of this chain until you almost finish this round. And I'm gonna meet you right here to show you what to do next, okay? Okay, so here you can see that I'm close to the end. And I have one, two, three, four stitches left. And I'm just gonna do that. And then two stitches left. Okay. The last stitch here, we're gonna insert it. Finish it like that, okay? Now at this point, you should have 65 stitches on this first row, okay? So you can always count your stitches like this, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 
At this end, this should be your 65 half double crochet, okay? And remember, we won't count this chain one here. This does not count as a stitch, okay? So you count from this stitch and all the way until the end have 65 half double crochet. Now we're gonna join this round with a slip stitch to finish it, okay? And to do that, here you can see this is your first stitch and on top of it, you will see this V, okay? And that is where you want to insert the hook right under this V. And we're gonna take both loops of this V, okay? You can see here, on top of each stitch, you see the V. Now insert the hook under the V of this first stitch. Take both loops like this, okay? Yarn over and pull our loop. And now pull this loop through the loop on your hook like that. Now we're gonna hold on to the work and pull this and pull our hook tight like this to tighten to close this slip knot. Okay? And that's how you join this first round with a slip stitch. And it's very important to pull and really tight your slip knot. So don't forget that part, okay? And now move on to our second round. We're gonna chain one and remember that for the chain one we don't want to work it too tight so you loosen it up like this a little bit yarn over and pull through now we're gonna turn our work okay so turn it like this and we're gonna work our second round here you can see the V on top of each stitch so this is your first stitch you're gonna insert the hook right under this V like that okay and again, work half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook like that, draw our loop to have three loops, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. That is the first half double crochet of this second row. We're gonna repeat that, work half double crochet into, into each stitch all the way until the end. And I'm gonna meet you right here to show you where is your last stitch and what we're gonna do next, okay? We are close to the end and here I have three stitches left, okay? You can see one, two, three and I'm just gonna do that And this is our last stitch, even though it look a little smaller because we slip stitch into this first stitch to join the round. It took up a little bit of space, so it look a little smaller. And we want to work our last stitch in there, okay? Work the half double crochet as normal, like that. So in the end of each round, we should always end up with 65 half double crochets, okay? So you can always count and remember not to count this chain one as a stitch, okay? Now again, we're gonna join this round with a slip stitch. And just like before, we're gonna insert a hook uh, right into this first stitch under this V on top of it, okay? This V, it's built right next to the chain one. It's gonna be a little bit twisted compared to the other stitches. Here you can see, but it's okay. You're just gonna insert your hook right under this V, okay? Like that. Take both loops, draw our loop, draw that loop through the loop on your hook, and never forget to close, to really close and tighten this slip stitch, okay? Again, we're gonna chain one, and we don't want the, the chain to be tight, so we loosen it up a little bit like that, and then yarn over, pull through, okay? Again, we're gonna turn our work and move on to the next round work. Half double crochet into each stitch until the end. And you're just gonna repeat the same process. There's nothing new. So I'm gonna put the pattern on the screen for you, okay?
end of round 14 and I have one stitch left to work in here before I join this round um, I'm gonna measure this first and it's exactly six inches and this is where I want to change my color and of course if you don't want to change your color you can just keep on working with the same yarn and you will work until it's about eight inches long or eight or around eight okay all right so here I will finish this I'm just gonna turn it so that it's easier here just see Work a, work a half double crochet, join the round with a slip stitch, tight, and here you're gonna take your new yarn. Okay, for this part, I'm gonna use double stranded yarn with two same color and now we're going to slip this new yarn into this loop that we have on our hook like that and then you're going to tie it up and pull on this previous yarn okay now you can put now you can cut this previous yarn but leave a long enough tails to weave it in later okay All right. Uh, so from now we're gonna work with this new yarn and we're gonna insert a hook right into this first stitch that we slip stitch to join the round, okay? So right here, right? And then you draw our loop. And we're gonna chain one and of course you want the chain one to be loose, so keep it nice and big chain one like that okay now just as before we're gonna turn our work and then work half double crochet into each of the stitch just the same as how we did before yarn over insert your hook so here your first stitch insert and half double crochet and just like that and even though it's gonna be just the same as before, I'm gonna meet you right here at the end of this row to show you how it's like, okay? Okay. Here is the end of this row and I have two stitches left. I am just gonna join this round in with a slip stitch as usual. Insert my hook into this first stitch, draw our loop and draw the loop through the loop on my hook, tie it up. And again, chain one with a loose loop, turn my work, and then work half double crochet just the same way again and again until I have about four to five rounds of this new color or uh, until this whole piece is about around eight inches, okay? I've done four rounds and it's still a little bit shorter than eight inches. But I feel like it's already the perfect size, so I'm gonna stop right here and show you how to bind off. So I'm gonna again join the round with a slip stitch into this first stitch. Here, draw a loop, draw that loop through loop on your hook. Again, tie it up. Chain one, but this time we're gonna cut and pull. You're gonna need a long enough tails to weave in later, okay? Now here how it's look like. Before I show you how to make the straps for the back, I will first show you how to close the bottom by sewing them together, okay? 
right here you will see um, this joining line where we where we slip stitch to join every round and then chain one here um, it's right where we join the chain and then where we bind off okay we want this line to be in the center so uh, you don't want to be like this or like this you want it to be right in the center like that now to sew this bottom we're going to use our yarn needle and a piece of yarn that it's about three times longer than this so one two and three okay you're gonna put your yarn into this needle and then we're gonna start at this corner and we're gonna bring our yarn needle from the outside to the inside like this okay and pull it all the way until the end we're gonna tie this right here but leave along enough tails so that we can weave it in later now on the bottom line you will see these loops that are nice and even here this loops this is where we're gonna insert our yarn needle okay right next to this um, corner where we tied our new yarn you're gonna first bring your yarn needle into this next loops right here in there and pull okay then we're gonna bring this yarn to the other side into this loop into this opposite loop that it's again right next to the, where we tied our yarn in here okay and then from here we're gonna move to this next loops right next to the one we just went in from the outside to the inside like that okay from here we're gonna work side to side to sew this bottom together and because we just worked this side we're gonna move to this side and you see right here you will see this yarn just coming from coming from this loop right bring your needle into that same loop and then it and then at the same time bring it back to the next loop right next to it like that like this okay just like that now move on to the other side you're going to again look for where the sewing yarn come from and you're going to insert your needle right in the same place and bring it back to the next loop like that And again, one more time, to the other side, look for this sewing yarn, bring your needle in the same place, and then bring it back to the right to the next loop, like that, okay? Again, here on this side, this is where the yarn come from, so we're going to bring it to the same place, and then right to the next loop okay again to this opposite side bring your needle right to where right to the same place where the sewing yarn came from and then bring it back to the next loop okay and then once in a while you can hold on to this sewing yarn and pull it like that to close your stitches and again move on and repeat the same process we just came from here so we're gonna move to the to the other side look for where look for your working yarn bring you the needle to the same place and to the next loop and we're just gonna keep repeating that process until the end but just in case you need I'm going to I'm going to meet you right here in the middle to show you how it's like, okay?
Okay, I'm close to the center and I'm gonna show you how it's like. We're gonna repeat just the same process. Go to the other side in the same place where our sewing yarn came from to the next loop and then again you're just gonna keep going side to um, loops to loop side to side repeat the same thing that I show you it's actually no different just keep them side to side aligned with each other like that right and then once in a while we're gonna pull to close our sewing and then repeat the process just the same way until the end and I'll meet you right here in this end to show you how it's like okay okay you can see here that we are close to the end we can just repeat the same process until it until we very close to the close to the corner okay okay pull first i'm gonna pull to close really tight it up like that and now again look to the other side this is where my yarn came from so I'm just gonna bring it back and bring it into the next loop again here you can see I have two loops left okay bring it back here bring it in okay and then now you want to pull okay in the end okay here you're gonna bring it back into this loop on the other side and then and then bring your yarn needle from the side outside in like this but don't but don't pull all the way leave this loop bring this yarn bring your needle into that loop and then close and then tie to really close it okay and that's how it's done this is the wrong side we're gonna turn our work and here it's how it should look like like this okay all right that's it don't worry about this yarn because we are going to weave them in okay you can actually bring it to the back of the piece the back of your work now we're going to move on to the straps of the back okay so for our straps we're going to use a uh, four stitch marker to uh, mark where we want to put our straps and i'm going to use this bobby pin instead okay so I'm just gonna show you how it's like, how the strap's like, and here it is. We're gonna mark right here and right here, and then work our straps on so that it looks like this at the end. So right here, you can see in the corner, there's a stitch right in the middle of the corner. And we're gonna count eight stitches from this middle one. So we're not gonna count it, we're gonna count from this one. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here is where you want to mark. Right there, okay? And again, on the other side of the line, from this middle stitch, we count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And mark this eight stitch. And now when we count the whole number of stitches, we should have 17 stitches, okay? Eight stitches from each line, and then this middle stitch, that's the total of 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay? And we're going to repeat the same process for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Okay. Take your yarn and your crochet hook. Insert it. Insert your hook right into where you mark. Bring out your yarn. Here you want to tie it up. Leave a long enough tail to weave in later. Okay. Now we're going to start work half double crochet for our straps. And again, you insert your hook right in the same place. Bring our loop. And then chain one. And the chain one, it's always loosen up, okay? Like that. And our first half double crochet, we put right in the same place. So work our half double crochet. And then work half double crochet into each stitch until we get into this mark right here. Okay, I have two stitches left. I'm gonna do that and then in this one that we mark we work our last half the crochet okay now again we're gonna chain one with a loosen up chain like that and turn our work on the second round of the straps we're gonna work our first half double crochet into this first stitch. You can see right next to our chain one, this first stitch with a V on it. Yarn over, work a half double crochet. Oops, okay. And then we're gonna skip this stitch and work in the next one. So yarn over, skip this one, work in the next one, like that, and work Half double crochet into each stitch all the way until you have two stitches left right here, okay? So one, two, right when you get here, okay? Okay, I have two stitches left and again, we're gonna skip this one work in this last one. You can see that uh, the last stitch will look a little different from the other stitch because we build it right next to the chain one and it's look a little bit because it include this chain one so you're just gonna find the V right on top of it and work a half double crochet in there like that okay again chain one with a loose loop turn our work and on this third wrap third row we're just gonna work half double crochet And then the process will be pretty much the same, so I will put the pattern on the screen for you, okay? Remember to check your number of stitches once in a while. You're just gonna count one like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember that we're always gonna have this one stitch that look a little bit different because it built right next to the chain one, okay? Okay, 
I'm at the end of row 10 and here you can see that we have seven stitches left one two three four five six seven so what we did is that on the last few row we decrease stitches and that just create this kind of triangle here what we're gonna do next is that we're not gonna decrease any stitches and we just work half double crochet into each stitch for a number of rows until we have a long enough straps and the length of the strap depends on what types of back you want to make is it a crossbody back or a shoulder back so I'm just gonna put some suggestion on the screen for you but it's your reference you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want just keep in mind that when your back carry things that you put in there the crochet does stretch out a little bit so however long you want these straps to be remember to make it a little bit shorter than how you want it to be so that when it stretch out it would still look as good as you want it to be okay okay so moving on from now we're just gonna do the same thing chain one with a loose loop turn our work and work half double crochet into each stitch across until the end oopsie work half double crochet into each stitch across until the end and just keep repeating the process until you get um, to where you want to stop so I'm just gonna go with you for like one more row here again chain one turn and keep doing that Okay, I'm at the end of my last row and I'm just gonna bind off then I will show you how to join the straps together okay on this one I left a little bit longer tail so that I can use it as my sewing yarn here it's how it should look like and you're gonna put them together like this And now I will put one of my longer yarn into my needle. Okay, and um, here we're gonna use the same sewing technique that we used to uh, sew our bottom of the bag, uh, but it's just gonna be a little bit different because the loop's gonna be this V on top of our half double crochet, right? First, we're going to insert our needle into the side corner of the other straps from the side into the first loop, like that, okay? Now we're going to move on to the other straps, insert our hook into the first loop, the first V, and then at the same time out of the next loop of the same side okay and then to the other side insert a hook into the same loop where your yarn came from and at the same time out of the next loop and like so we're gonna repeat that again and again until um until the end and i'll show you what to do in the end okay Here at the end, you can see that I have two stitches left and we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. This is the last one. Here 
here we're just gonna hold on to the yarn and pull tight and pull tight to close the stitches and then we stretch it out a little bit to reposition these stitches now we're just gonna put the yarn into the side corner of this one and then into the corner of um, the other one then we leave a loop and then put the tail into the loop and then close really tight and that's it now we have only one last things to do is to weave all this end back into the piece and that's all.